Yo, what is up guys, this is Trucks here, and uh, today I'll be teaching you how to spawn trap on Hijacked, one of the commonly played maps, by far one of the best I feel, and um, this map's base really simple, you just need a good team, and uh, good players really to be honest. It's really easy, it's really nice as well, like spawn traps and stuff, it's so good. Right, anyway, if you spawn this objectives. side, you're going to want to cap C. C. And you're going to want to cap B. Because if you don't, then they will spawn whatever kind of... So say if they have B and A, they will spawn around here onwards. But if they have A and just A, they will spawn only at A flag. Okay, so first off, what you want to do is you want to get... You're going to need about three people. And roughly, you want to sit someone around here preferably and make him just kind of sit here because sometimes when they have the A flag they like to spawn along here sometimes where I'm running they like to spawn along here but mainly where they do spawn is like mainly here 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 and along there obviously and along there so basically what you're going to want is to have the A flag to do this and you're going to need someone to sit roughly just around here just to poke their head around the corner and just to watch this spawn last time I was going to do a video with someone sitting here and just to stare into their spawn but they've got no option and if they get killed from a the side then it's kind of screwed and plus they're too close to their spawn sometimes even when you're standing near their spawn it kind of flips so I find here's the best spot and you just stare, turn around, see if they're capping B, lob a Semtex or a Tomahawk and it's a good way to protect B because that flag is really complicated always gets capped anyway, so you just want to stand there, push them back into their spawn and just keep them and prevent them from going into this door now, I, oh sorry, and I will tell you why later, like in a bit and for this side you're going to want someone to basically do the same thing but you're going to want them to sit in here just keep poking their heads around the corner and it's going to be a little harder because people might pick you off at the back but if you've got a good gun you're good and yeah and also you can protect the B flag from here and yeah and as for you or whoever is spawn trapping you can plant attack here or something and you just come here and you pick them off from here literally and you place one there and then you pick them off from there and then when you pick them off from there the others will spawn there and you pick them off from there and you pick them off from there and it's just consistent and it's really really good and then they kind of understand what you're doing but it's still so good We've my, t my, my team has made many people back out for doing it uh, rage quit and stuff like that ok so now if you spawn this side you're going to want to cap A Oh no, sorry. Also, but if you're not really a sniping type of person and you don't like going for it here, because that's what I normally do for my episodes and stuff, you can stand up here. Now, preferably, what you want to do is you want to block your view so you can't see the spawn there. So you don't want to go like that, and then you can see everything. You kind of want to go like that, so this red box is in the way. And then when you go back here, it's the same thing because. I don't know why, but with it, everyone knows when you stare into a spawn and uh, the uh, like you can see their spawns, the game doesn't allow them to spawn because it's like a danger zone. So if you just stand like that and then just come around and just come around, it's quite nice. But I do prefer standing down here; it's much better. Okay, so if you spawn this side, you're going to want to cap the A flag. And then you're going to want to cap B flag, obviously. And you're basically going to want to do the same thing. Someone could either plant an attack here or whatever they use. And you're basically going to want them to stand here just to push them back into their spawn. Or maybe if you want just to stand around here because I'll get to that in a minute. And then, but yeah, so basically just push them back into their spawn. And then you're going to want to get someone to stand around here to prevent them from walking around, like all the way around behind you and just stand it and stop them from walking into that door so this spot's mainly the hardest spot for the spawn trapper and then as for you or your spawn trapper 
you're gonna basically do the same thing like this or what I found you can do this and then they'll spawn along here spawn around here duck here for a minute so the game doesn't recognize it danger zone and then come back and then it'll spawn come back here wait for a second come back and then maybe we go around here and it's really nice it's really good or if you want to go up here and do the same but make sure you can't see them spawning because the spawn would just flip so make sure you keep an eye on this ladder that's why I like going down here so you got a whole view of the map kind of thing and you're in control of it now you know what I'm like I don't like to spawn trap at B because I find it's a bit iffy I really hate it Plus, if they had B flag, they'd spawn there, 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 Securing Bravo. and there, and it's just horrible trying to pick them off, and you really can't spawn trap, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, that's my spawn trapping video on Hijack. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a comment if I should do more. I will be doing this on as many maps as possible, and, um, yeah, and be ready for my next commentary that's coming up soon. See ya.